Good afternoon, Snackers. It's Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, with our On the Road review for today, Tuesday, March 5th, 2013. And today I'm at an Arlington, Virginia landmark known as the Broiler, uh, which is on Columbia Pike, not too far from Burger King. And ever since uh, Jim from 13 Tenantry did his review the other day of a Burger King, I think, double XLT bacon burger. I've wanted a bacon cheeseburger myself, but I decided not to go fast food necessarily. I definitely didn't want to go gourmet. There's a new gourmet burger place in town that I'm going to try soon, but I wanted something a little bit more, you know, down home. So I decided to come to the broiler, uh, famous for years for having good, sloppy, greasy food for a good price. Uh, Rocky Parish from uh, Kevin and Rock Show on the Fan 106.7 here in D.C. Uh, swears by the place. You know he's a longtime customer since he was a kid, just like I am. In fact, I've done a review of this place before for Pizza Night, where I did one of their pizzas, and I told you the story about how my dad uh, got in a fight out front of this place and got hit in the head with a crowbar and stumbled home, and we thought he was dead and all this stuff. But anyway, so speaking of said bacon cheeseburger there she is they call it a jumbo bacon cheeseburger and as you can see it's a pretty <clears throat> good sized burger excuse my voice today and uh on it we've got bacon which appears to be under the lettuce and tomato let me clear some of that aside yes looks like one two three four strips of bacon it looks like it's pretty crispy too i like that uh it's shredded lettuce which i don't dig so much but you know what there's not that much of it, so I'll get through it. The slices of tomato look healthy enough. In terms of the beef itself, it's a kind of a thin, you know, smashed down patty, but I kind of like that, and it's nice and extra wide. Uh, I got it along with some of their fries, and they give you one of the best deals in town. Check out this bag of fries right here. Tons of fries for $2. Holy crap, and they're nice golden brown crinkle cut fries, the type that you generally would get at a bowling alley. Anyway... Let me go ahead and reposition myself, try to pick up this bad boy without causing too much damage, show it to you a different perspective. That's an all-American looking some bitch right there, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, why don't you guys go ahead and take a look at the broiler while I take a bite. And a couple of golden brown french fries. Okay, so uh, I really like that burger. Uh, nice taste, fresh off the grill. The bacon was really crispy. The cheese, nice and melty. Uh, ju burst, juicy, juicy burger. Um, the toppings, you know, the lettuce and tomato were what they were. They, they complemented the burger very nicely, and there was mayo on there. I love mayo on a burger. And did I mention the bun was toasty? I hope I did, because I liked it a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving this burger, hmm, jeez, seven-eighths of a thumbs up. Yeah, seven-eighths of a thumbs up. Not quite big enough for a perfect burger, but it's pretty darn close. I liked it a lot. Now, in terms of the fries, you know, three-quarters thumbs up. They're pretty good, and I'm going to grab on those for half the day because there's a lot of fries in there. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Thank everybody for making the Pizza Hut Sliders review for Pizza Night uh, about a month or so ago. The most reviewed, or rather viewed, review on our channel, the uh, Snack Food Appreciation Society. If you want to see more reviews like this one, just subscribe. Uh, join the SAS on Facebook by clicking on the link below. I will be back either tomorrow or Thursday with the review of the Cool Ranch Dorito Taco. It might come out a day early. Either way, I'm going to get that bad boy reviewed for you real quick. And then I'll be back again on Friday, of course, with a pizza night review if there's not a tremendous blizzard and we don't all get covered in snow. 
I mean, it's like 50 degrees today, but there's supposed to be like a foot of snow tomorrow or something like that. This area has the weirdest wet weather. Anyway, I'm going to scarf down the rest of this burger. I'm going to go back in there, and I'm going to play some Miss Pac-Man, because they do have a Miss Pac-Man machine in there. Don't, 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 don't get me started. Anyway, so in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.